Hey there traders, this is Chris Keen from a Keen Point of View and we're going to take a look at the uh, majors heading into the weekend. We've had a little bit of an unexpected breakout here and it's just strange all around because there's not really any news on the wire and it happened around this. Everything started to move higher around 1040 when the Euro USD just briefly moved above 131 and basically stood there for a while but now the pair is up over 70 pips. Um, we can see that the pair is obviously making a move towards this 131.80 level, which is resistance uh, resistance from the move higher in September. Uh, we can basically get rid of this trend line now. Uh, trend line now, but it, so the uh, the cross could be moving towards uh, the 131.80 level, where it could probably most find resistance. Uh, so for the remainder of the day, now we're going to have to watch that heading into the new week because a break of that 131.80 level uh, could definitely uh, put the pair in. Um, in in position to make an even more exaggerated move up towards the 133 level in the short term. So now heading into new week, we're going to watch the 131.80 and the 131 level break back below 131, and we could see another push back lower, um, push back lower to test probably the 50 fib of this move higher, which will come around probably 130. Um, uh, in the short term. Let's take a look at the Great Britain USD because I think we've had a move on risk all across the board. This pair uh, has moved up aggressively and is testing the 161.80 level also. Uh, so basically it's testing the very top of its range uh, and it'll probably, I would guess, probably uh, stop there for the week. So we're heading into the new week we're going to have the pair sitting up at once around the 161.80 level or at least having test the 161.80 level and resistance at 161. We're going to need a break in either direction to really get things going. A break of the 161.80 level and we could be off towards 162.75. That would be the next level of resistance. But if we break to the bounce line here, we could definitely be pushing lower towards 160 and even further towards the 50 fib at 159.76 would be a nice target for a pushback higher. Um, so we'll have to watch the price action there heading into the new week. Next pair we're going to take a look at is the Aussie because just like all the pairs, it has pushed a bounce to here. Uh, 50 pips. This is very interesting because uh, the pair, the market had. Uh, I had just got done uh, sending a tweet out before these breakouts that the market had been in a narrow 30 pip range uh, since basically two o'clock in the morning since the European Open, and that was around 10:30. And now there's been uh, a, a, a very big move higher without any really news to justify the reason for it. I guess that was just that break of the Euro USD uh, 131 level uh, kicked a risk on sentiment here. So let's see the. Um, so what we're going to watch in this pair, as long as it's above this ascending trend line now, uh, it could can, it could equal into a continued move lower, I mean higher. Uh, the first level of resistance is this, uh, you can see this ascending tra trend line it used to be uh, support. It has acted as resistance very nicely since uh, the pair broke up towards it. Now the next uh, level of resistance is going to be around the 160.20 level, and then we have daily price resistance right above that around 160.30. So we're going to watch that price action there to see how things roll out, and any move lower obviously is going to be this trend line here and we're going to need a break of that. If we break below that then we could be getting towards the 104.6 and so forth to the downside. Um, the next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand USD because that pair probably uh, has broken once again higher above the 0.8450 level. Now if we get a close above that level it could indicate a cyclical uh, continued move higher. If we do drift back below the, in the close below, below the 84.50 level we could just fall back into this range between 84.50 and 83.50. Uh, we'll have to watch the price action there to see how it plays out. But if we do get above that the next targets are much higher. There's a lot of hot air up here. Not much stopping the pair from continuing to move higher. The next pair we're going to look at is the CAD. Uh, because the CAD, uh, as long as it stays below 98.70, basically all I have to say is that the pair, it, it, it does favor that the cross will continue to uh, continue to move lower. The next level of resistance is 97.60. You can see if you look uh, a little bit further back that that used to be a big um, consolidation for the pair between 98.70 and 97.35 and it could fall back into that zone. Uh, if we do break below 98.70 though we could be right back in this area and the top of the resistance would be up towards 99.50 uh, in the short term. Now the yen, yen cross is the pair to keep in mind because um, it has moved up quite aggressively since basically they announced the abolishment of, well they broke the trend line here and then they announced the uh, breakup of the I think it was the house and the call for new elections. This has caused the pair to move up pretty uh, smoothly ever since that point and um, 
and after the pair broke above the descending wedge. But you have to understand that the uh, the election is going to be on Sunday, so it could be one of those cases of buy the uh, rumor, sell the news, or buy, you know, once the facts come in, we could see a reversal in this pair, as we have seen a little bit of weakness today. If we get a break of the 83.20 level, we could see a continued push lower over the short term. But if we break above 84, there's a lot of hot air up there, and we could see a continued move higher over the next uh, few trading days. Um, or actually over the, in the long term, which could have target initially and move up towards the uh, 80, 85, 50 area. All right, everybody. Uh, remember, this is uh, have a great weekend. And remember, this could be the last weekend of all time because the uh, Mayan calendar predicts the end of the world next uh, next Friday. So uh, so you might, you might want to party like it's 1999. <laughs> Pretty cheesy there. All right, guys. Remember to have a good weekend. And to, um, on Monday, keep a lookout uh, for your supports and resistance levels and watch the price action there. And uh, remember to keep your trades keen and the plate clean. Everybody, have a good one.